All right, boys and girls, we're going to learn how to basically use a triple beam balance scale that you should have learned in fourth grade in elementary school. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you about the parts of the triple beam balance. We have our pan. This is where you place your item to be measured to find the mass of the object on the pan. We then have the thumb screw right here. And what this is, is helps to balance out the triple beam balance scale because that's the first thing you're going to want to do before you measure. And if we look over here, we need to make sure when, when I'm talking about the balance, we need to make sure that line is on that zero mark and as you can see it is. But if it wasn't, we would adjust that thumb screw back over on this side. The next part we have, which is very important, we have our three beams here. These are called sliders. You can see that they're in the ones, and these are grams, so one grams. We have it by 100 grams, and we have it by 10 grams. And then we have what are called the riders that you slide on the slider to help you measure. So, what we need to do is we are going to, first before we do measure, we are going to practice carrying the triple beam balance, which is very important. You need to make sure that it is level at all times. So when you lift it up, you're going to hold two hands just like this, and you're going to walk with it if you needed to walk with it. You do not take it because what happens is there are little balls and little tears in here that can um, disrupt the balance. So sometimes we need to have to take it like this. So we're going to carefully turn it around, and now we're going to make sure it's zeroed out. So the first thing before we do any balance, we make sure it's zeroed out on our 1 grams, our 100 grams, and our 10 grams. It looks pretty good to me. I don't need to touch the knob. What I am going to do now is I'm going to place my object to be measured to find the mass. Remember, we're finding the mass. And just like many, you're going to start with the larger number. So I'm going to start with my hundreds. And I'm going to take it to the 100. Now, do you see those little tiny grooves? They need to be on the groove. It cannot be like this. It has to be on the groove, and you can kind of shake it, and you will feel it. Well, you can notice here that it's still not balanced just yet. We're going to go to the 200 grams. Oh, not yet. This is pretty heavy sanitizer. Oh, too heavy. We're going to go back to the 200s, back on that groove, right? See that groove? Right there, okay? Now we're going to go to the 10s, okay? We're going to move to the 10. We're checking it hasn't changed yet. To the 20 grams. Nope. To the 30. Can you guess what it's going to land on? Oh, too heavy. We're going to go back to the 30 grams. So now we're at 230. We're going to add those together. But we're not finished yet because it's not at zero. So now we're going to take our ones. And you're going to have to lightly with your fingernail your, your finger and just lightly push it until it gets to the zero, till it's balanced. And we're going to keep going. Oh, a little too heavy, so I know I have to go back a little bit. Just a tad. And I'm going to get eye level with it. I'm going to be very patient. Oh, too heavy. I'm going to go back a little bit. Okay? And that's like even a tenth of a gram I went back. And you can see that it's almost perfect. I might just do one little tippy tappity too. And we'll say that's pretty, pretty close. Now, we have our riders on our slides, but now we need to see how much this wonderful ice gingerbread hand sanitizer measures. So just like money, you're going to start with the larger first. We're going to count 200. We're going to say 230, so you're going to add these together, and plus our ones. 235, and we're going to use our decimal, 235, and it looks like, is it in the middle? I can't tell. 235.2, and that is what we would write, 235.2 grams, because we're measuring mass. All right, boys and girls, this is how you read a triple beam and measure a triple beam balance.